It is another tragedy for a family still in mourning. Last October, 12-year-old Akila Jackson was hit by a St. Louis County Police SUV as she ran across Halls Ferry Road. Weeks later, she died. And tonight, Fox 2 has learned that Akila's mother has died after she was hit by a speeding vehicle. The driver left the scene of the crash. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live tonight from that intersection. Jeff. Here is what police tell us happened. St. Louis police say that the woman who was Akila's mother was trying to turn off of Jackson Street onto North Broadway when a speeding car crashed into her car. She was ejected from the vehicle, hospitalized for nearly two weeks, and has now died. It was last October when the family of Akila Jackson gathered to pray for her recovery as the 12 year old remained in the ICU. This was the plea from her mother. All we ask for today is just prayers. Akila did not survive, and now her family says Akila's mother has died following a hit and run crash on October 16th. Police are still looking for the driver they say was traveling at a high rate of speed. I'm sure they haven't even gotten over Akila, and now they're dealing with another tragedy. Friends of Akila tell me they are still traumatized over her loss. They miss her every day. The loss of her mother only adds to their grief. Especially once his family back to back like that. What hurts Akila's aunt the most right now is police say the driver of the car that killed her sister left the scene of the crash. It's coming up on the anniversary of her daughter's passing, but we're just trying to get through it the best day, way that we can. She wants anyone with information about the driver to call police and takes some comfort in believing Akila and her mother are now together. She was a great person and she loved her baby, you know what I'm saying? And so just like God, he brought them back together. My heart goes out to her family. They stay in my prayers. Residents living near the scene of this latest crash say too many drivers speed without consequences. They don't stop at stop signs, stop lights. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, it's very unfortunate. Our community really needs to get together, stick together and do better. We need to do better, y'all. A St. Louis County police officer was charged for Akila's death. No arrest has been made in this latest tragedy. And again, Akila's aunt says the only thing she wants right now is for someone to call police to let them know who caused this crash and then left the scene. Reporting live from North St. Louis, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. Such